Hello everybody, Crafty here, and welcome to another video on Destiny. Uh, with the recent closure of the Loot Caves 1 and 2, I have... <clears throat> not exactly taken it upon myself to find another one, but I kinda stumbled across another one. And I'll show you here in a minute. Now, this is on the moon. Uh, this chest normally isn't part of that, I just happen to find it. But, as you can see, I've done quite a bit of damage here. Um, you should recognize this area. This area is right off of start. Right over there is where you start. If you know where this little beacon is, you can find the loot cave. I don't know if this one works the same way, but I know the one behind me does. Now, this is the spot I've been taking up recently. I'm just going to come over here. Um, he is welcome to all the loot that I just practically gave him. I don't know if he's going to find anything useful. Or just, uh, ignore it. That would work, too. Uh, I think it was down here. I just don't want them to get behind me here. Let me hear these ads here. And... Here it is. Little spot right here. Now, normally, Vandals and Reavers spawn here. Uh, none got behind... Oh, there you go. Sorry, Drakes and Vandals. Don't let him get away. There you go. <clears throat> uh, a little spot between here and the ramp. Tends to be a pretty good one. You can uh, get in some pretty good headshots. But as you can see, the spawn cycle is pretty quick. Now, don't get me wrong. If, if you're into shooting at a hole for hours on end, you are more than welcome to use this glitch. Or, I would say glitch, Jesus. Uh, it's more of an exploit. Um... But as you can see, the spawning is relatively quickly. Thank you for the scout rifle upgrade. But I'm using pretty much the same tactics as you use in a normal uh, cave farming. Scout rifle, headshots, and so forth and whatnot. Uh, but as you can see, the spawning cycle is very quick. Again, it's between these two little things and this ramp here, aiming at this cave near where the... I think he realizes what I'm doing. <laughs> He's going to screw up my spawn cycle. But you get the idea. Um, uh, again, you have the moon. The starting area is right there. Just run all the way over to here. Now, these enemies do run from the cave up the hill and are generally up on this hill here. You have to clear them out first before you start farming this. Uh, because they will be scattered all throughout this hill here. And they will not respawn, just like the previous enemies. They will not respawn until you clear them out. Now, you will get the occasional annoying vandal and uh, flying skank right there. Oh, I'm sorry, shank. <laughs> I've gotten so used to calling them skanks that that is pretty much what they are called now. But you get the idea. You will drop engrams, you will drop ammo, you will level up items, and blah, 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 blah. But again, this is on the moon. This is a scouting mission. And people, I guess, don't realize this. I've never seen anybody doing this, but again, I was looking for ways to finish up a, uh... I was looking for ways for, to finish up a mission for headshots. And I wanted to find a place that spawned a lot of things. Uh, kind of stumbled across this, and... Oh, they screwed up the spawning cycle, but you get the idea. <laughs> uh, let's see, what, ten seconds? One, two, three, four... God damn it! <laughs> But you get the idea with uh, with how much crap I've dropped over there. Um, you get the occasional farmer running here. Uh, this, the moon is also a good place to farm as well. Helium filaments and uh, the caves are a good place to run. See, I don't know how well that's going to go with people running by and farming the helium filaments. But uh, as you can see, this is a generally good place to farm headshots. Unlike Loot Cave 2.0, which actually took a while to do... This one, generally, goes a little faster. Boom. But I haven't been dropping any engrams. You saw me pick up a few engrams at the beginning. That was maybe ten minutes worth of work. Not even, actually. I just found it, started popping heads, and decided to record a video. And I'll do one more little run, and then run over and give you a layout of how to get here really quickly. Uh, you should know exactly how to get here. It's on the moon, and you're right over there when you start. But again, uh, right between the ramp. I was on top of the ramp, but I couldn't really get a good view of inside the cave. 
uh, and they were kind of running out a little bit, as you can see. Uh, I've done a little, uh, oh, see, the, you get the occasional yellow, too, which is, uh, pain in the ass, because they're a little bit harder to deal with. And I'm just a bad shot, too, and I'm being shot from behind, so that's not, that's not very nice of you, sir. No, you can go away now. But it's just a vandal and a shank, so no real problem there. All right, one more, fine. As you can see, a little uh, trial and error on where they run to, but I find that between the ramp and these two little cylinders here is the best place to go. You can really mess with it if you like. Maybe down there is a, it's a better view into the cave, but I'm not sure if that uh, is a good place to spawn them. But uh, unlike Luke Cave 2.0, where you have to stand half a map away, you don't have to do that with this one. So uh, you get the gist of it. I was going to run down there see what we got. But as you saw, maybe a 10 second timer, not e not even. Uh, it's not really a six second timer, but as you can see, I've been here for a while. Um, but that's it. Maybe it's a new cave, maybe not. I don't know if anybody else can explore that, but as you can see, pretty decent stuff. My name's Crafty, take care, bye-bye, and game on.